Yeah, I was talking about the summoning salt situation just a second ago. Like I said, absolute trash, but I'm very confident that by tomorrow it'll probably get solved. But if it doesn't, then yeah, we'll go over it a bit deeper. What happened with summoning salt? YouTube keeps age restricting his newest video. So the history of the Mega Man 2 world record got age restricted once for, uh, I don't even remember, but they eventually went on Twitter and they're like, hey, we, you know, what? I'll just pull up the tweet. You know what? Fuck it. We'll, we'll go down the whole rabbit hole tonight because it, it is kind of wild. I do think this will be solved by tomorrow, though. I really do. So, where is it? Here. So after he called him out saying, why was my video age restricted? This makes no sense. My video doesn't have any strong language. There's, he did the math. There's 0.16% of his whole video has a curse word in it. Here, actually, I'll just scroll up. So it was age restricted for excessive, uh, excessive swearing, and it only contains 19 curse words in 78 minutes. He did the math, it comes out to 0.16% of the video has naughty language. And for some reason it was age restricted, so he called out Team YouTube wondering, you know, what's going on here, can we get it fixed? They eventually came back saying, hey, after further review, we moved the age restriction straight up, we made a mistake. We know this has been very frustrating, we apologize for that. Your partner manager will reach out with more information. So sorry once again. So you, you think that's where it ends, you know, wash your hands of it, just a classic YouTube L. And then out of nowhere, I think it was two days ago. Where is it? God damn it. Oh, here. They re-age restricted the video, but this time it was age restricted due to nudity. <laughs> Sexual content and nudity on a Mega Man 2 video. So it's pretty clear there's no human beings here actually looking at these things. I think that is blatantly obvious here. So for some reason, this once again got age restricted. Well, actually, it looks like he deleted the tweet about nudity. Was that? Oh, no, here it is. It violated their sex and nudity policy. So it got re-age restricted again, and now he posted a video kind of going over the whole situation. I haven't seen the video yet, but I've been keeping up on Twitter. I can't imagine YouTube for some reason doesn't overturn this one. But regardless, it's such a massive hit to his channel because that video getting age restricted immediately stops all of its growth. And Summoning Salt is a quality over quantity guy, so he's only making like a few videos every few months. So when one of them gets stunted for no fault of his own, it's a huge, huge hit to his livelihood. When it gets age restricted, does it not get put into the algorithm? No. YouTube does not recommend age restricted videos here. He showed this, this tweet here. It completely stops it. So even if they overturn it, the damage is already pretty great. So super unlucky. I don't know what the fuck happened with YouTube or why they have it out for summoning salt, but what a mess. Age restricting it, realizing it's a mistake, but then re-age re age restricting it a week later on sex and nudity for a Mega Man 2 world record video. Yeah, he posted this on I'm his gonna alt. I'm gonna start the- I really think he should have posted this on main. I really do. YouTube only responds to pressure and nothing else. I think this would have been very good on main, but even still, it's had a wide reach. This video out by saying that as a whole, I love what YouTube has allowed me to do over the years. I've made a career on this website. I can share my videos with the masses and earn a living from it. There's so many things that YouTube does right with regard to discoverability and letting their creators True. monetize their creations. There's but there are Suki things only. they get horribly wrong. And that's what I'm here to talk about. A story that started a couple weeks ago. I make videos about the history of speedrunning world records. And a couple and weeks ago, bangers. I uploaded my most recent video, the history of Mega Man 2 world records. It was the longest video I had ever made. And I honestly poured my heart and soul into it over the last couple months. I uploaded it, 
and it pretty quickly pool. got over a million views, which is roughly the amount I normally get. The five gift subs retro? Thank However, you. four days later on the morning of September 21st, I got a notification that it had been age restricted. When a video gets age restricted, YouTube is claiming dead, that there's yeah. so much adult content in it that it can only receive limited ads, movie. which means you get a fraction of the monetization revenue and it also gets suppressed in YouTube's algorithm. Surely, I figured this must have been a mistake, yeah, so I appealed it. To give some pink. And 45 minutes later, YouTube told me that my 78 minute video had been carefully reviewed. Rightfully, I was pretty pissed off. I quickly That's how figured it always out the goes. reason they cited for the age restriction was a clip in the middle, where speedrunner Elonesia used the F-bomb six times in a three second clip. But their application of the rule made no sense. YouTube's own guide for avoiding limited ads on a video says you should avoid uploading videos that have focal usage of profanity. The example they give for a video like this is a video that uses a curse word in every sentence. I looked at my own video. It contained 19 curse words out of 12,000 overall words throughout the entire video. So obviously what triggered it is the fact that of those 19, six were accounted for in a th brief three second period. And for some reason, YouTube wants to die on the hill of that's too excessive. And then I don't know what happened with the whole nudity thing. Like, I don't know why they're trying to play that card because it's a fucking Mega Man world record video, right? Like there's no sex or nudity here whatsoever. But that's initially what they tried the hardball with, with the, the fuck burst. Uh, so that's what triggered it initially, and then they backpedaled. That works out to roughly 0.16% of all words being curse words. For comparison, the angry video game nerd said, has a video Marcy on the Teenage Mutant Raphael. Ninja Turtles, where roughly 34 out of 1,000 words are curse words. Or roughly 3.4% of all words in the That's video. That's so much lower words. than I thought. His video has 21 times the amount of cursing mine does per capita. Yet mine is the one that was somehow restricted for excessive swearing. Now, to be clear, I'm not saying that the AVGN's video should be age restricted. His video does have a lot of cursing, but it's not in every sentence. Which, once again, is the example that YouTube gave. But why is my video where 0.16% of all words are curse words across a 78 minute documentary, the one that gets age restricted. Now, YouTube actually has conflicting policies on this. They also have a separate vulgar language page, which has a list of things that can get your video age restricted. One of them cites a sustained rant with heavy profanities. <laughs> that, that's such a vague rule, by the way. Because, like, what, what exactly is a sustained rant? Like, if I get passionately upset about fucking Pokemon, Game Freak being a lazy developer, and I go on, like, a, a three-minute uninterrupted flow of consciousness where I say fucking shit, whatever, like, what is sustained rant? Like, is, there has to be, like, a cutoff, right? I don't know. It's just such a weird, vague one that's, like, a blanket catch-all that they can use for fuck-ups. I don't know, it doesn't make any sense at all. Heavy profanity, they do at least define. A sustained rant, they don't. Because, I mean, you could say a sustained rant is just a few sentences. Like, it doesn't, like, wh how long do you have to go uninterrupted in a rant for it to be considered a sustained one and enough to flag it for an age restriction? Elonesia's supposed rant was three seconds long. Exactly. Is that a sustained rant? Objectively, there's no way that three seconds could be considered a sustained rant. It's a 78 minute video. A three second clip is approximately 0.06% of the video's length. But it is a percentage. That is not a sustained rant. The next day, YouTube got back to me and told me that they had made a mistake. My video should not have been age restricted. I'm not sure why Let's it took go. them 30 hours to figure that out. But thankfully, they recognized it and lifted it's the age restriction. Prime in the prime stink. So now my videos could be seen by everyone, mm. but the problem wasn't really fixed. This is my video's graph of suggested video views. Basically, it's the views it received over time from being suggested to people in the YouTube algorithm. It was performing normally until it was age restricted, then it completely flattened. 
and even after lifting the age restriction, it never recovered. So even though YouTube had technically lifted the age restriction, my video still had a small fraction of the visibility it was supposed to have. I was told by multiple sources that this would recover in a few days, but it never happened. I figured I'd just have to Luckily cut my the losses age restricted and move again, on though. with just a portion of the revenue I was supposed to receive from this video. I also knew that it was very unlikely it would ever be promoted again in the future, looking at how flat the graph was. So, I moved on and figured that was just the end of it. But this morning, all videos level out. Yeah, but it's usually like a teetering. Like they kind of just peter out. So it'll like that line he shows. Usually it'll just kind of like curve naturally. His goes up and then immediately flatlines because age restriction immediately takes it out of suggestion. YouTube is not allowed to age restrict or suggest age restricted videos. Now sometimes some fall through the cracks. I know, but on the whole, they do not and never will recommend age restricted videos. Morning, eight days later. That's not true. It literally is true. But like, bro, what, how are you going to tell me that's not true? It is the YouTube policy. My YouTube partner rep even told me that. Back when I was doing a lot of sex toy stuff, he's like, you do know that we can't recommend age restricted videos. And I was like, yeah, I know that. Everyone knows that. It's not a secret. Like they, they are very public with that. I woke up to an email that my video had been age restricted once again. YouTube clarified in an email, their reversal of the decision eight days ago was apparently incorrect, mm. and the age restriction should have remained in place. I don't get this. I seriously I just, do I not get it. Kalari, I don't get how videos Julio, with 21 Slushy, times the, the amount of ordinary. swearing per capita don't get flagged while mine does. I don't get how YouTube can review a 78 minute video in 45 minutes and determine it should be age restricted then reverse their decision 30 hours later, then come back eight days later and tell me, no, they apparently had it right the first time. And to clarify, if you or even YouTube as a whole didn't want ads on any videos with swearing, that's perfectly fine. I have no issue with that. But tell us that beforehand and we can adjust accordingly. Don't give us these incredibly vague rule sets and then even when I oblige by them, insist that I'm somehow violating them even when videos with 21 times more swearing are apparently perfectly fine. Robot tits. And I'll say it again, I really do like YouTube overall, but these incredibly inconsistent and obviously illogical rulings make it so much harder to thrive on their platform. Now this is by no means necessary of course, but if you're willing and able, I'd appreciate any support you could give me on Patreon. I'm losing out on a lot of revenue from this no situation. No one reviewed and the video. Now that I'm doing this full time, they don't have the it reviewer. hurts quite a bit. But most importantly, please share this video around. Any tweets, posts to Reddit, sharing it with friends, anything will help. I want people to hear this story. Please make YouTube give me an explanation for what they've done. I don't see how, when comparing it to other videos on the platform, this 78 minute Mega Man 2 documentary is somehow the one that deserves to be age restricted. But I'm completely at the mercy of YouTube. Thanks for watching. Yep, so that's the situation. Unlucky, that's YouTube for you though. There is no human reviewers. Don't let them fool you. No one actually reviews this. No one with a pulse actually looks at those videos. Like he said, his 78 minute video, somehow the appeal was denied within 45 minutes. Literally impossible unless they're watching at 1.5 times speed, which means that they're not even thoroughly reviewing the case, which is just as bad as not even using or not even reviewing it in the first place. They don't have human reviewers. So what happened is the system flagged it for age restricted age restriction based off of that like fuck barrage, and YouTube got called out on it, so they backpedaled. But then the system flagged it again for the same thing, and now YouTube can't look stupid and backpedal twice, so now they have to stick with it. There is no human reviewers.